What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the compensation that all players in the Elder Scrolls Online will be getting for the recent server issues. Now, the majority of these server issues happened after the Ascending Tide DLC update on the PC in a mega server. There were some players on the PC EU mega server reporting problems, but it seemed like the majority of everything was on the PC NA server. On the console side of the game, I've had a few issues here on PS5, mainly with the group finder not working correctly. I could log in and try to go in and find a random on my tank or healer. Uh, and no matter which tank or healer I was on, I just had a big issue with it, ever finding a group. Sometimes it would take forever, and sometimes it would work as intended. And I've seen a few issues also on Xbox Series S and X kind of, you know, involving the same kind of problem that I was having here on PS5. And when it comes to old-gen consoles, I really did not see any complaints about problems, you know, that were new. Most of the things that old-gen players are still complaining about you know, bar swap lag, you know, just in-game lag. It's kind of been around for a really long time now. So it seemed that everything was really tied to that PC in a mega server. So one of the, uh, or the uh, director of the game came out and made a statement saying they thought the issue was kind of tied to performance after the database maintenance that they did on PC, but that was actually not the cause. The cause was a failing network port, which had to be replaced, leading to the resolution of these problems. So once that network port was replaced, the problem seemed to go away on the PC and A side. The game developer also, or the game director, excuse me, also went on to say that he understood that there was a lot of players out there that did not get to log in and participate in the game over the last several days to week. Also, he knew that the, you know, that we had that week long event that was double XP, double nodes, double gold, and a lot of players did not get to play in that either. So for compensation, this is going to go to all platforms and mega servers. So no matter what platform you play on, if you're on PC or console, you're going to receive 150% XP scrolls, five of them in total, on the first day of April's login rewards. Also, you're going to get tripled rewards from weekly endeavors for the week of the 4th of April. So we're going to get those triple rewards that week for the 4th of April and five 150% XP scrolls on the first day of April's login rewards. So those are going to be some good things to kind of compensate players. I think most players are going to be okay with that. Those 150% XP scrolls are going to be great considering the Jester's Festival is coming up. We'll have the anniversary event coming up, a lot of double XP, and those are going to be stackable, of course. So those will help out and kind of help players get back to that you know, XP they could have gained during that uh, you know last week-long event. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you think this is good compensation? Like I said, I think most players are going to be happy with this. I think this is perfectly fine. I think this will be a great way to let the player base know that they're sorry for what went on. And it's a good thing to me that they also came out with a statement and told us exactly what happened. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.